Well, we continue on usdtoreros.com getting set now for University of San Diego football against Moorhead State, and we're joined by head coach Ron Carragher. Coach, you're coming off a very strange week in which you had a game that was postponed by several weeks. There was a tragedy that hit the East Coast, Hurricane Sandy, and everything that the Superstorm kind of left behind it, all of the recovery efforts, hotels and flights, everything postponed. You guys were caught up in that because you were supposed to go to Marist last week. That did not happen. That game has been postponed to December the 1st. So now you have Moorhead State this week essentially off a of bye. How have you guys been dealing with the last two weeks? Well, I'll tell you, we had a real good week of practice, and it wasn't until after uh, Wednesday's practice that we knew. So we were full speed ahead, uh, Marist College, uh, for our game against them. And then when word came, uh, we shifted gears on Thursday. But n having not had enough time to get in a, a game plan then, we just had a good on good uh, work of fundamentals, but it was a good spirited practice for the team uh, in light of the situation. Obviously, they wanted to go back and make the trip, and uh, telling them the news w w was tough. It was uh, the team took it. It was tough because we were fired up and, and ready to go. But uh, you know, that being said, we uh, we came back out Sunday and and uh, put in our game plan and shifted gears, put that put that game plan on hold, the Marist College game, and then uh, shifted gears here to Moorhead State in a in a pivotal key uh, Pioneer Football League game for us. Absolutely right. And we'll get to the league standings here in a second. But as you get toward uh, that some of that extra time off, did it help you? Did any positions change injuries wise? How did you look at coming in now this week? Well, it uh, it did give us a weekend off. Uh, a few guys, uh, you know, dings and bruises and whatnot, sure. uh, heal up and get a little bit better. Uh, fortunately, it's been it's been pretty good year uh, on that front. Uh, so, um, but it was just hey, hone in, get better, uh, improve. We've got some young players at some key positions and just continue to improve and and, and get better. And so I think uh, when we came out, guys came out spirited, ready to take that next step. They know the challenge ahead of us and you know, one week at a time. Got a big one this uh, week. Moorhead State coming to town and uh, last game for our seniors. Uh, 16 of them. So uh, guys are excited about that. Hey, you do have the two road games left and you said you will play that game at Marist on December the 1st. Yes, definitely. Uh, key uh, Pioneer Football League game. Being in conference uh, we felt very important to uh, set and, uh, and have that game played uh, regardless of whether we're in the championship race or not the last weekend. Talk about senior day here. Your final home game. It's under the lights again. Could have a little bit of inclement weather uh, for a Saturday night. Should be a lot of fun for football. But we'll talk about having senior festivities. Well, I'll tell you, it's a bittersweet because uh, you see those guys, uh, you know, they've been through the program uh, three, four, and five years, some of them. And uh, some of these guys uh, have put their heart and soul into this program. And, and so it's tough knowing it's their last time they're going to play in the stadium. Um, but it's also exciting that the end of conference play winding things down we're in the heat of the race right. and so uh, we'd like to go out uh, achieve a goal a pioneer football league championship and and uh, back to back with last year's would certainly be a, a great goal for our team so we know we're in it that's the bigger picture uh, and uh, send our seniors off with a win uh, and uh, continue the uh, home uh, win streak that we have in Torero Stadium well you're absolutely right the pioneer football league race uh, heats up for your last three ball games it's strange the way this 10 team league is set up up, that you don't play one team in a rotation. This year it happened to be Butler, who you do not play. They're seven and zero. And by the time you take the field on Saturday night, you will have three games left, and they'll be done with their conference season. But you guys are right there in the mix for a conference championship. Definitely, uh, we're in good position. We had a you know a, a bump in the road back early, uh, back at Drake, um, but the team really has has improved. And uh, you know the saying, not always how you start out, but how you finish. And the team has continued to improve. Our young players have developed uh, and, and our, our defensive kids have, have really bought into a, a new system and are playing good so we need to to continue to, to, to play hard play fast physical USD style football and uh, and uh, and then see after the last game see uh, where it ends up because uh, the other games are out of our control we can just uh, take care of uh, what we can control and that's our game next present game in front of us and that will be Moorhead State here you've always had great success against the Eagles coach thank you very much for the time and very good Good luck to you. Great. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate it. We continue on. USDTorreros.com, your source right here for the football broadcast will come your way Saturday night.